the clock is speeding up. And Israel is God's prophetic timepiece in this. And we see certain events going on in Israel where God is, for example, Ezekiel 37, God is gathering Jewish people from around the world. There's now more Jewish people living in Israel than anyone else, even in the midst of the craziness and the atrocities of what Russia is doing to the Ukraine. That is forcing Jews who are in the Ukraine uh, a significant number to go back to Israel. Many people ask me the question, are we living in the end times? Great question. Technically, since the day Yeshua died and rose again, we've been living in the end times. But that's really not the question that's being asked. The question is, is this the final period of time before the coming of the Messiah? And, you know, this is, this is a tricky question, but I think there's something very interesting that we need to understand. And that is kind of something to understand the signs of the times. And it's interesting, when I was growing up as a kid, I remember the first time I got a cassette tape and uh, put it in a tape recorder. And the thing about cassette tapes is that when you rewind cassette tapes, the closer they get to the end of being rewound, the faster it speeds up, right? So kind of the acceleration of the tape in the process of the rewinding lets you know how close you are to the end. And I think what's interesting about that as the, we see this going on in the world today, we see there is an unwinding, or you could say a winding down of history and we see this in the acceleration and the proliferation of technologies, of, of, of changes in the world. We saw how the coronavirus spread accelerated throughout the world. And we see how there's these different technologies that can monitor people and fake news through social media. And you see the clamorings of certain people calling for a one world government and a chipping of people out of concern for coronavirus. And so are we living in like the year the Messiah is coming, the final couple of years? Listen, we don't know. No one knows the day or the hour. Scriptures are clear. But what's clear is the clock is speeding up. And Israel is God's prophetic timepiece in this. And we see certain events going on in Israel where God is, for example, Ezekiel 37, God is gathering Jewish people from around the world. There's now more Jewish people living in Israel than anyone else, even in the midst of the craziness and the atrocities of what Russia is doing to the Ukraine. That is forcing Jews who are in the Ukraine uh, a significant number to go back to Israel. God is using the rise of anti-Semitism in all these world events to move Jewish people back to the land, to prepare for the return of the Messiah whenever that might be. Now, there's a lot of other indicators of where we are on God's uh, prophetic time clock. But I think the most important thing is we see all of these things going on in the world. And as we know, Time is drawing near. The clock is counting down. We don't know again, we don't know exactly when, but the thing is what's important for us is that we don't live in fear because the return of the Messiah is the blessed hope. See, I know many people that are watching the TV and what's going on in the world and inflation and rising of prices and instability in the world and coronavirus and wars and rumors of wars and they're kind of freaking out and getting nervous. But here's the thing, we are not called to live in fear. We are called to live by faith because we have an unshakable hope. The return of the Messiah is the blessed hope. Hope is your future is gonna be better than the past. No matter what happens in the world, God has got this and it's all moving towards his plans and purposes. He's coming, his kingdom's coming. It's gonna be better than anything that we are experiencing now. So listen, there's no need for us to be scared. We have to live from a place of optimism, not pessimism. 
because our goal is not to acquire things in this world. Our goal is not to live a comfortable life as much as all of us want to be blessed and, and have a nice, live the abundant life. But most important, we have a mission and a mandate. And as we see these going things going on, we have to let people know about Yeshua and what the scriptures have to say so they are not caught unaware. So the crazier the world gets, the more chaos we see, the more that should increase our hope. That means the day is approaching and that means there is a greater opportunity for us to make an impact on people's lives for Yeshua You can be different. We need to be different. And part of the way of being different is by standing up in faith and in hope and in love and proclaiming the good news of the Messiah and letting people know this was all spoken of a long time ago and they need to understand this and that God is fulfilling his prophecies and promises from ancient times. They're literally coming to pass before our eyes. So be encouraged, have hope, and share the good news.